We're at Albert Park Lake here with School Sport Victoria's latest ambassador, Josh Dunkley-Smith. Josh, welcome aboard. Very excited to have you as part of our ambassador program. Thanks very much, Nick. Um, very excited to be here. Uh, as, as we sort of spoke about earlier this year, the list you gave me of all the people involved is a, a fantastic list of people. Um, so it's a real honour to be part of that. Fantastic. And it's, um, you know, tell us for the people at home, um, who want to know a little bit more about your background and your sporting career, tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm a rower. Uh, when I was younger, I tried a lot of different sports. Uh, I really loved being outside and uh, operating in a team environment. That was what really motivated me. Um, my mother was actually is an Olympian as well, a dual Olympian. Um, she sailed the 470 uh, in Barcelona and Atlanta, and so my earliest memories are, are of sport and uh, international competition and following her around the world. Um, and so that really, I guess, inspired me to sort of follow sport and um, be a part of it. Um, and then through school, I was really into swimming, um, but finally came to sort of rowing. Uh, I really enjoyed being outside and again, the teamwork aspect of it. Um, and really went from there. I uh, finished school, uh, moved up to Melbourne from Geelong. Um, got stuck into the club scene here, uh, had, a great f had a great time, a lot of fun, met, uh, made a lot of new friends and, um, and really enjoyed that uh, and then was lucky enough to get an a lot of opportunities actually but um, went up to Canberra, uh, did a couple of years up there, um, went overseas, made it my first few teams and then uh, got to row with a guy called Drew Ginn who is a bit of sort of an idol of mine, one of the heroes of uh, Australian rowing. Uh, rowing royalty, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and so I came back to Melbourne, which was fantastic to be able to work with him um, in sort of my hometown. Um, and uh, went from there, went to London and Rio. Um, really enjoyed both those experiences, um, very different experiences. Um, and now I'm really excited to sort of be back here and uh, be able to pass that on a little bit to not only rowers, but uh, school kids and people sort of thinking about going into into sport after school but also those not really um, going uh, considering it because uh, even though I say that mum really inspired me I didn't always initially have the desire or the dream to be an Olympian that was something that really sort of developed over time so um, that's something I'm really keen to help people with. Fantastic well we're really looking forward to working with you and the students uh, of Victoria and bring out some of your experiences that you've learned al along the way to pass on to students. You were involved in the first ever SSV Rowing Victoria Indoor Rowing Champs recently. What what was your takeaway experience from that event? Yeah, that was a, that was a fantastic event to be part of. Um, it's obviously something that has a lot of ways to go in terms of growth, but it was a fantastic start. Um, I think it's something that's going to be more and more popular uh, with a lot of schools, uh, also a lot of schools that don't probably do rowing, um, being able to get indoors and on the rowing machine um, is really widely available to a lot of people. Um, it's a machine that you see in a lot of gyms and um, things like CrossFit are really popular, uh, popularising now. Um, so I think it's something that's really uh, ap applicable to a lot of people, not just rowers, and is really approachable as well. It was certainly a great event, so students and teachers, if you're watching this video, look for the Indoor Rowing Champs next year, it's a great event. Josh, um, we're so pleased to have you on board as a School Sport Victoria Ambassador, look forward to um, working with you early next year, have a safe and Merry Christmas.